Hey guys, my name is Ismos and today we're going to be looking at the new Blender Sketchfab add-on that lets you import Sketchfab models directly into Blender. So this is a plugin you can find on GitHub. I'll just be leaving a link in the description uh, so that you can get it uh, for yourself. And uh, all you have to do is uh, go to the link uh, that I'm going to be leaving in the description and uh, just click on this download and install this zip file and I install it like any other plugin by just going and edit preferences add-ons add-ons install navigate to where you have the add-on uh, download it and uh, hit install and then you have to go through an activation process which is simply i uh, just uh, uh, before you log in uh, there is an activation button here you just click on that and it, that will activate the plugin and also uh, give you a login inputs uh, so that you can enter your username your sketchfab username and uh, password if you don't have one you will have to create one uh, directly uh, we just give you a link to the to the sketchfab page uh, so that you can create an account directly there and then you can start downloading uh, the models you want for free uh, except if you want to get pro models you can get them by clicking checking on this so that you can get paid models and uh, you can see the add-on will be found on the left tools menu uh, so if you hit n you will find it under the sketchfab uh, panel there and you can see its fun functionality is very basic I, because all you need is uh, a way to import the models into Blender and this is the easiest way. Uh, the Sketchfab is a library, as I said, of a lot of 3D models, uh, most of which are not Blender uh, models or are not in the Blend uh, format. Uh, so Sketchfab only filters uh, the Blender compatible models and uh, brings them to you here. So the library is a lot is a, is a very large library and uh, most of the models here are PBR and you can also preview them directly into uh, the web. Let me find something simple here. Let me just get this and uh, let's see maybe this here. Or oh, let me just show some of mine that I have there. So I guess I can show this. I can see they have a, they have some are paid models and uh, some are free models. So uh, this is one I made. You can see they have this uh, nice web um, 3D viewer, and you can see how the model looks in 3D. Uh, most of the models they have a PBR. So even when the format is not a Blender format, uh, you can still import it directly into Blender as long as it's a it's an FBX. Uh, if it's an FBX format or obj uh, with pbr textures because you don't have to worry about compatibility of the shaders uh, since pbr textures are well supported in blender uh, so let's say for example this model you can see that uh, let's see the different formats they have here yes so you can see that uh, this is a unity and uh, unreal engine uh, model uh, so you don't have a blender format here so this would not be available for blender because it's not compatible with blender so sketch the sketch up add-on here just filters out non blender formats so that you can easily import uh, what you want here uh, so let's find something simple that uh, could let's get this one here let's see you can see a few of the details here so this is a under creative commons license let me try to expand here uh, but uh, you have to add attribution and I uh, can't use it for commercial use so you have to check uh, the creative commons like the the what license the model you're using is under uh, before you use it for anything as some may not be available for for you so if you want to search for only PBR formats you can just click on this or staff picks uh, these are just models that are handpicked by a sketchfab model sketchfab staff and uh, you can also get some animated uh, categories so you see they have a bunch of categories and uh, let's import this. Let me see how large is this import. You can see it's about 3 MB, so it shouldn't take uh, that long to uh, download. So your 3D cursor also changes into a countdown and into uh, the download countdown uh, to see the model. So here we are. Uh, let me go to the outliner just hide uh, the the previous mode I had 
So this is Beth Hammond from uh, Queen's Gambit, if you have watched the movie. I think the model looks really nice. Uh, let's check out uh, the wireframes. So I think th it's possible that this model was not made in directly in Blender because I can see that uh, it's quite triangulated and uh, this is usually uh, a result of using an exporter to export a different format and uh, I think the add-on also imports not just blend files but uh, also FBX formats uh, with uh, uh, if as long as the materials are PBR materials that are going to be compatible in Blender so let's look at uh, the materials here because I believe this is a PBR material or oh, he's just using a single uh, texture here Uh, it's not even PBR, it's just a single texture, that's why you don't see any any uh, roughness. Uh, let me actually just go, this one is called Beth Hammon. I can go to Sketchfab and uh, search for that, Hammon. Yeah, I think this is it, just to compare how this is meant to look uh, in, than in Blender. So I think it's not that different. Yeah. You can see. Let's see the format. Uh, so this is compatible with Unit and uh, and Unreal Engine, but uh, it's included. Uh, an FBX format format is included. I guess that's what is being used. Yeah. So you can download the plugin, as I said, uh, from. Sketchfab and then get any models you want. Let me see if mine will come up in the search results. So if I search Train Yeah, so it does come up without this option. Are you getting only free models? Uh, but because I've switched that on and uh, mine is a paid version. I can see that uh, we also Get the option to import it but i guess you have to to download paid models you have to have a pro account otherwise it won't be able to download and uh, yeah so if you want non-paid model free models you just make sure you don't have uh, the pro options turned on and uh, then you can download all the free models you want yeah so that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in next video